Hey, what's up everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, we're gonna look at how to bring in font awesome icons. I have a ginormous Twitter icon. I have a smaller, but still ginormous Twitter icon. I've also got my coffee cup icon. I have brought these icons using React Font Awesome inside of my Gatsby slash React project. We'll look at how to bring them in and how to size them. And with that, let's get started. All right, so I have the Gatsby starter default template running right here. Looks amazing. We have our spaceman and our Gatsby default starter purple area. I'm gonna stop the development server. And what I have to do is I have to head over and if I do a Google search for React Font Awesome, what should come up number uno is React Font Awesome. And here what I have to do is I'm gonna scroll down the page and look for where it says React to make sure I have the right section. And I have to install a few different plugins. So I'm gonna first copy these first three, the NPMs, come over here, paste it into my terminal, let the thing run. And once that is done, I do have to install this next section of font awesome icons. Now it does include both NPM and yarn. It will yell at you and say you're not recommending to mix the two together. So when I do put that in, it does say your project contains lock files generating other than yarn. It's advised not to do that, but I did it anyways. Totally fine, it will not break your project, it will not blow up the internet. Awesome, we have the second set of installations done. The last one we have to do is add the additional styles and that includes the free brands and the free regular SVG icons. If you do have a pro account, you can also install these next four, but I don't, so I'm not gonna do that inside of my demo. So I'm gonna come back and copy these last two NPM installs and I'll copy and I'll drop into my terminal and let these last two install and come back when it finishes installing. Cool, now there was three things I had to install, three sections, and I did install them all because down the road I might want to use one, two, or all three. Now that we have the installation, let's actually start up our development server. So I'm gonna run Gatsby develop, because I'm in Gatsby. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring in a Twitter icon inside of my project. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring a Twitter icon right below high people or right below this H1. So what I have to do is I'm gonna head up while this thing's starting to start up. Hopefully it's gonna run successfully. Refresh the page. So far, no error messages, everything looks good. So right below the SEO, I'm gonna type import and I'm gonna type just the closed bracket along with the open bracket and then say from and then, woo bar project, let's say, fr nope, one more time. Let's do it from, there we go. And we'll say at Fort Awesome. And then we're looking for the React Awesome. Perfect, it caught it. So what I like to do is I like to have this typed in first because this is gonna catch the word I have to put in, which is font awesome icon. Perfect, so this is the first step of the two-step process to bring in font awesome icons into Gatsby slash React. So let's go look for a Twitter icon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an up here at the top under search icons, I'm gonna type Twitter. And from there, what I should find is a Twitter icon. So on this page, I'm looking for two things. One, it says brand style or FAB and two, it says FA Twitter. So I know I have to go back and look for the brand style to include up at the top of my Gatsby project. So I'll do React Font Awesome again. In hindsight, I should have kept the two tabs separate, but it's okay. And what I'm looking for is the free brands SVG icon. Free solid SVG, Font React. So eventually we're gonna find the brands which are free brands SVG icons. I'm just gonna copy this line of code right here. And what I'm gonna do is come up to the top and say import, keep this empty for right now, and then say from and drop it in. The reason why I do it this way is that way it'll catch the proper spelling of the icon that I need. For example, with Twitter, it's FA Twitter right here. So I'm gonna say FA capital T Twitter. So up here, I will say FA, capital T, and then what I'm looking for is Twitter. Not Twitch, but Twitter. FA Twitter is how it is. So if you ever look for an icon in React, or excuse me, in Font Awesome, 
FA dash turns into FA capital Twitter. Now that we have these two components, let's add it into our code. I'm gonna add a paragraph tag for right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say less than sign, and I will say font awesome as the first word. And then what I'm gonna do is I will say the icon is going to be, if I use the right curly brackets, so we'll say FA Twitter. And now when I hit a space, self close it, that's gonna start the whole Fun Awesome process, and this is gonna identify which icon that I'm gonna use. And just like magic, we have the Twitter icon. Now do note that the icon takes the size of its parent. So in this case, the P tag determined the size right here. If I add an H1, and then I copy and paste, what you'll get is a larger icon because the H1 is inherently bigger than the paragraph. And that's because the font awesome icon takes into consideration the font size of its parent. In this case, the H1 versus the P tag. But let's say you wanna make it even larger. Let's say we wanna make this font size ginormous. Well, we can use sizes based upon font awesome. So if we do a quick Google search, we say font awesome icon sizes. What you'll find is because we're still working with Font Awesome just in a React framework, but the sizing icons will show you all the various sizes that you get to work with. Now this is classes, but we're focusing on the last little pieces of the sizes. The XS, the small, the large, the 2X, the 3X, the 5X, the 7X, and of course the 10X. So in order to apply these sizes into React, we have to write something else besides a class name. So up here, I'm gonna use the H1 and just make it extra, extra large by saying size, S-I-Z-E -E, equals, and then choosing one of these options. I'm gonna choose the 10X, and we'll come over here just so we can see the work, and I'll save it. And now what happens is that H1 is multiplied by 10 times. Note if I were to bring the size to the paragraph and I save, it's relative to the parent. So the 10X is 10 times the size of the paragraph, and this 10X is the size of the H1. Let's try bringing in one more icon. So I'm gonna head back to the Twitter icon area, and I'm gonna look for the mug hot one. So I'll search for mug hot. And what I'm looking for is this cool looking mug. And now this one works with the solid style and is FA mug hot. So knowing that, I'm looking for the free solid SVG icon. So I'll come over here. That's free regular SVG icons, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the free solid. So free solid SVG icons is the one I'm looking for. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring it up here, and I will say import, keep it open and closed, and then say from, and drop it in. Now knowing how we convert this name from traditional HTML and CSS, FA mug hot, we're gonna use FA capital M U G hot. So FA capital M capital H for mug hot. And I will just copy and paste this and we'll change FA Twitter to FA mug hot. And we'll just take out the size for right now since we don't need it, drop it in. Now we get is a small little mug hot next to a large Twitter, next to a large, larger Twitter. For more things about Gatsby, check out this playlist I have here. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.